After qualifying in Belgium at Spa, and uh, we're talking to pole position man, Enam Ahmed, who's just narrowly took pole position. How was it? Oh, it, was, uh, it was probably one of the best laps I've ever done in my life. Um, I was on the edge nearly every corner because uh, Toby was quicker than me in the, in the practice, so I knew I had to pull something out of the bag today. So I was just fully sideways everywhere, you know, keeping it lit. Um, but yeah, it was mega. Like when I, after I did that lap, I was like out of breath. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't go any faster. So tires were gone. I, I, after only doing one push up, tires were gone. So I just came in. So I think I have uh, like a good two, three laps less uh, mileage on my tires than everyone else as well. So we'll see how the race goes. Well, you were starting ahead of the, uh, um, the, the very hard charging Toby Sauer. You, you identified as a very serious threat to uh, the championship, to your championship lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be a tough race with him. And what uh, what are you expecting other than sort of a win? Anything in particular? Have you sort of mapped out what's going to happen on the first lap? What what your uh, strategies are? Probably expecting maybe to lose the lead on the first lap, just uh, purely because the straight's so long and everyone overtakes you. Uh, but I think uh, even if I lose the uh, lose the lead, I'll still be able to kind of claw back at him maybe overtake him so I think it'll be a good race it's not going to be like one of those races where I had where you just fly off into the lead uh, especially on the first lap even if you start pole it's going to be really difficult to uh, stay there uh, to keep the lead on the first lap so we'll see how it goes well you've got to be in it to win it and I'm sure you'll be there uh, at the end of the race uh, certainly uh, at the, uh, the sharp end of the grid well done on another pole position Adam yeah thanks after the first race at, uh, at Spa in Belgium, and uh, we're chatting to uh, another podium success for NR Madman, but it's not the top step. Yeah, um, first of all, I was really happy with getting pole. Uh, I was running the most downforce out of everyone in that race, so I knew I had to nail turn one to be able to get a, a gap, uh, which I didn't, I locked up. Uh, and then as soon as I saw um, Ben and Toby behind me, I was like, I'm gonna get, sw I knew I was gonna get swamped down the straight with how little downforce they were running. Uh, which was inevitable, I got swamped. And then a few laps later, Ben overtook Toby, which enabled me to get a run onto Toby down the straight. Um, uh, I, I was going side by side with Toby down the straight and Ben was, I was really thankful for Ben for giving me a slipstream so I can go past him. So he gave me the slipstream, which was really nice of him. And um, yeah, and we went side by side for three corners and I man was able to keep it stuck in, which was good. Um, but yeah, Ben drove a th uh, phenomenal, phenomenal race. Um, he did a really good job out, out in the lead, very little mistake. Well, so, so did you, to be fair. Oh, well, uh, I wasn't in the lead this time, so I can't really compare. But uh, yeah, he did a really good race, uh, no mistakes. And with how little downforce he was running, he did a really good job. So uh, fair play to him, yeah. Well, the thing that you said might happen at the start of the, the, of the race that you predicted did happen. I guess uh, you knew uh, that you were running the, the high downforce, and that's probably why you, you, you knew that would happen. Uh, but still, overall, for the championship fight, you still come away with a, a, a big bag of points. Yeah, that, that was the main thing, uh, to extend the championship lead, which we have done. Uh, uh, again, mega job by the team. Uh, but it's all to play for tomorrow. It's going to get mixed up again. This, this track seems to be a crazy one for racing. So we'll see how it goes, yeah. Fantastic stuff. Continuing the championship fight, and um, well done. Thank Congrats. You. Thank you, Lester. Thanks. Good. After a, uh, a, a very eventful race number two, all sorts happening, and uh, Enam Ahmed finding yourself on the top step of the podium again. How did you do it? Uh, well, uh, first of all, team gave me a phenomenal car that race. We were so much quicker than everyone, and I don't know why, but we were so, we were so much quicker. Um, and I was just carrying that momentum when I was overtaking people. Um, I, was uh, I was able to overtake without losing much time and uh, hopefully it made up for the screw up I made yesterday because my driver coach and team were not happy with me messing up turn one and losing the win so uh, uh, my driver coach Roberto did say that this made up for it so uh, yeah it was mega. Well you experienced it yesterday having started from pole, James experienced it in race number two here. Is starting from pole a disadvantage? Uh, it depends, it can be. If you, if you screw up the first corner like I did, then yeah, it's a big disadvantage. But if you nail it, then you'll be fine. Well, what can you do for race number three? Hopefully, I'll nail turn one and then we'll see what happens after that. Championship fight is looking even stronger for you. you uh, you're, uh, you're making it very sort of depressing for your competitors. Oh, I'll just do the best I can and see what happens.
And um, well done once again, top step. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Another win, and um, Ahmed stretching the lead in the championship now. How do you do it? Uh, well, uh, Toby was much quicker than me at the beginning of the race, uh, but then once I learned the way he was driving, because the track conditions had changed a bit, I was able to catch him and then uh, able to pass him. So uh, pretty extraordinary, yeah. Well, yeah, like you say, you you uh, you managed to get past him the same way that he got past you early on in the race. Led for a fantastic uh, uh, spectacle, certainly uh, with a lot of slipstreaming going on, and that uh, increases your lead in the championship as well. Yeah, team's done a mega job all weekend. Uh, they gave me a really good car. Um, yeah, well, the only place to pass in Spa is down the long straight, so I had to get a really good exit out of turn one to be able to pass him as he was running a lower downforce. So uh, yeah, mega. Thanks. Best moment of the weekend for you? Uh, probably race two when I came from the back. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done, and uh, we'd love to see uh, what you can do at the next round. Uh, try and win again, hopefully. We'll see. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.